Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Um, welcome back to the character spotlight. Um, and this is going to be for engineer. Um, if you are questioning uh, the organization of my channel, um, I am trying to make a uh, uh, playlists for specific things. Um, so I'm starting a beginner guide thing, uh, just answering uh, beginner questions. Um, I'm going to try to do uh, tournament modifiers as an ongoing thing until I get all of the modifiers done. Um, this is Brownian Motion, Attack of the Slugs, uh, Drought and Evolution. That's what, that was what my tournament modifiers were in my last tournament. Um, and that's going to be an ongoing series until I get all the modifiers. Um, I do have a tier list uh, one um, in the case that you want to see my most viewed videos um it's just all of my tier lists all of my major tier lists um and then i'm also doing obviously character spotlights uh this is i've done one for monk scrapper boreas and this one is obviously going to be engineer um i hate when that happens I, I i leave rush royale open um so that i don't have to go through this load screen and then when i want to go back into it for my video they're like yeah reload this um so engineer uh, this was suggested by a comment, and I disproved why I should even do this uh, to the person that commented. And then I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway, because kind of want to make content. Um, and this is an easy thing for me to make content about. Um, and it's probably some information that somebody will benefit from. Um, I trust that most people benefit from all of this, any, any kind, any amount of information. Okay, so I'm, I have a, uh, a drink here um, because I talk a lot and talking, uh, talking a lot uh, tends to hurt your voice um, if you don't drink water. Um, okay, so this is going to be engineer and I maxed out my engineer. I maxed out all the talents. Uh, so obviously your engineer is going to vary. Um, if you have a maxed out engineer, you probably aren't watching this video. Uh, I have to assume that you understand that it's terrible and shouldn't be used. Um, but if you aren't and you are a newer player, um, this is why uh, I wanted to make this video. I wanted to make this video for newer players um, to state a simple fact up front. Engineer is the best deck until it is not. <laughs> um, so when you start the game, um, Engineer is one of the best decks. Um, it is one of the best decks because it is a deck. Um, I find that very early on in the game uh, process, let me uh, let me take a deck that I don't care about. Um, most of the time, uh, Frost will probably be your uh, uh, one of the early cards that you get. Um, it is the only available legendary. If you so, when I started my free to play account, um, I knew that if I automatically opened my legendary box as soon as I got a legendary um, as soon as I obtained either a thousand dust or you get a free legendary at some point really early on um, the only option uh, that is available for you to pop a legendary is a frost um, I had a theory like I think the reason why they made it frost and, and frost is not better with maxed if you maxed it out but I have a theory that the reason why frost is your first legendary is because it's not great it's, it's okay, but it's not going to win you everything, right? Because, and hear me out here, if they made Blade Dancer or Inquisitor or Cultist what, the first legendary that you obtain, I would never leave that league and I would continue playing the game, never leaving that league to open up new legendaries and I would fucking out, max out that card. I would just max out that Blade Dancer. I would stay there until I had a max, like, cultist or a max, in whatever that opening, you know, like your first legendary, right, that you unlock is because every single chest that you open for a legendary would be that legendary. You could technically start a new account and max out a frost. I'm, I'm giving you this information. Just, just do with it what you will. But anyway. So when you start in this game, um, most of the time you get like uh, you get like a frost. Um, you might get a Boreas and think that it's amazing, right? Um, and then you just kind of build a deck. Like maybe you pulled like a Corsair, and then um, and then you just you you you, um, 
you just start using like random anything else that you have that you think is powerful. Uh, like an executioner is pretty good and like a chemist, right? Um, this is the deck that you build. Like most people, when they start the game, they throw all of the legendaries that they've obtained and they just make the legendary deck, right? They make the Frost, Boreas, Corsair, Executioner, uh, Chemist, uh, probably uh, Trainer or Bestie, maybe. Like, Bestie is like a newer thing. Um, but probably Trainer, right? They make this deck. And it's it's a deck, but it's not a deck, right? The reason why, and I will always argue this, and the reason why Engineer is better is because it's a deck. It is a deck that has a specific purpose, and it's to get as many engineers on the field, and when you get more engineers, when you, um, well, we can read this, uh, the engineer attacks the first target on the path, right? So it doesn't have spread damage, which is one of its problems. Um, if there is another engineer in the adjacent cell, so anything touching it, um, they are considered merged, and the merged is kind of a weird Way, I would say connected, right? Uh, and the gears on their guns start rotating. If yet another engineer connects with one of the uh, two, the whole group is considered connected. Uh, for each connected, they they run a merge game, and they're gonna say this is this is merging. That's very confusing. For each connected engineer, the damage they deal increases. Thus, in a group of 15 engineers, each of them will receive a bonus for the other 14. Um, they say 15 because 15 is the amount of spaces. Um, and so the fact that it has the ability, this is your first example of a card that has increasing damage based on a factor. Um, by itself. So if you were to make this deck, right? None of these cards increase their damage. They increase their attack speed so that they deal more damage, but they don't have increased damage over the course of the game. If you have a level seven um, Boreas on the field on round one, that level seven Boreas will still be, will still deal the same amount of damage on you know when you get to double bosses which you never will never get to um it will be the same damage when you get to triple bosses um nothing is increasing the damage that these do engineer on the other hand as you obtain more engineers they deal increasing damage um because every single one that is connected uh starts to deal more and more damage right um and so the reason why the engineer deck, I will always argue, is a good deck for beginners, it's because it's an actual deck. It is a deck that does something. So now you might not have all the legendaries, right? The, this is like the deck that I would make if I was playing it. Um, but even if you run a deck that has like Mime, right? Um, you can run like Summoner if you have Summoner. Um, you, you really need like Summoner or Dryad or Scrapper or Harley Quinn. You need something. Um, and then you can run like a support card. You could probably run a Chemist, right? This is in and of itself kind of a deck. Um, Portal Keeper will help you move them. Uh, Mime will help you uh, get rid of Engineers or get rid of uh, extra Chemists because obviously you only want one Chemist on the field at any one given time. Um, and this is, in and of itself, a deck. It is a deck that does stuff. Um, so, talent-wise, uh, early on, you're probably going to run fast recharge. Uh, when the engineer appears, he drops a part that increases the attack speed of a random engineer and his neighboring engineers by, uh, by 30% for 15 seconds. It isn't great, um, but it is probably better and more useful than defensive matrix. Um, once you start going into the later game, defensive matrix is going to be the more appealing talent um, because you it'll protect you against it'll give you a shield uh, for against witch, against shaman, against uh, bosses. Uh, it will protect against bosses. So if you get tribunaled um, and you have the shield, it'll get rid of the shield. If you get warlocked, it'll destroy the shield. Um, if you get bedlamed, it'll destroy the shield. Um, 
of these two on the next talent, uh, Conveyor and Overtime, never run Conveyor. Um, after hitting a part, another part will drop with a 35% chance. So you only get parts when uh, you summon in a uh, an engineer, or if you merge something and that merged thing becomes an engineer. Um, and so what happens is after hitting a part, there's a chance to get a 35% chance, which is not even a definitive chance, that it will then bounce off that and hit something else, which sounds good, but it's not consistent. And you have to keep summoning in or merging. And what you don't want to do with this deck is, hap is where you have to keep summoning in. Um, overtime is the, the thing to use. Um, after the boss appears, there was a 35% chance that the engineer will drop apart. Now this applies to every engineer. So the more engineers that you have on the field, when a boss appears, each of them will get a 35% chance of just shooting out a part. And again, um, those parts uh, will do uh, the, either the fast recharge, which makes uh, boss kills much easier because when the boss comes out, uh, if you're running overtime, um, your 35% uh, chance all of your engineers will drop apart, um, making all of their attack speed 30% uh, faster for 15 seconds, which is the boss round. You will kill bosses faster. Or um, you can obtain defensive... Um, you can get defensive matrix, and if you know, like you, you you're you're not able to kill the boss, you could t uh, theoretically protect yourself against the boss. Um, defensive matrix is the much better talent, but if you are early on in the game, I think fast recharge is probably better because you need to be killing bosses quicker, and uh, defending against things is not as important early on. Um, but overtime is definitely the better of the two. Um, so the third talent is optimization. Uh, and I always use optimization because I think phalanx is more of a uh, co-op kind of situation. Um, optimization is the maximum bonus from connection is achieved when 10 engineers are in the chain. There are a total of 15 spots on the board. You have to fill up 10 of them with engineers, leaving you only five spots to play around with. Now that might seem like a lot, but when you're running things like a chemist or scrapper or, you know, like a trapper, um, that those amount of spots that you have, th those five extra spots start to become a lot tighter. Um, and you want the extra spots to be able to keep going and to keep um, making your engineers better. Um, because the only way that they can passively upgrade themselves, which is really good, and it's probably one of the best 15 talents, um, is progress. Merging also summons a part. Uh, the part has a 10% chance to increase the merge rank of the engineer. So merging is not something that you want to be doing. You don't want to be getting rid of your engineers. But if you do, uh, there is a 10% chance uh, that the part that it shoots out um, will increase um, an, the merge rank of an engineer. But again, the best usage of parts is through uh, bosses and it's through overtime. Um, because when you go to, if you have this and you have progress, every time you get a boss, all of your engineers will have a 35% chance of getting, um, of dropping a part. And that part has a 10% chance to increase the merge rank of an engineer. A random engineer and and at that point it doesn't matter which engineer it is it's good um so this is like this is the base talent that i would want uh, if i was if i was a newer player um i would go fast recharge overtime optimization uh progress if you were a late game player i would go defensive matrix overtime optimization progress um this is technically the engineer deck um, if you were early on in the game. But the reason why I uh, wanted to make this video is I think that it's very good early on because it is a deck. But when you get other legendaries that are in and of themselves decks, those decks are better. Even at max level, even with the best things, Engineer is not going to be able to hang um, because it doesn't deal enough damage. Um, it also doesn't have an efficient way of protecting itself. Um, and in the late game, 
uh, with Virus and King Pudding and Dark Priest and, you know, just all of these things. Defensive Matrix isn't going to help you all the time. And then if something gets Dark Priested, like your level six thing gets Dark Priested, right? Um, you can't take it away. Um, you will have no late game way of taking it away. And the best uh, late game way of taking things away, which is why it's so good, um, it's going to be your enchant sword. If you have an enchant sword at level 13 uh, with the approving look. Um, each it's why everybody runs it. Each boost has a 50% chance to remove all negative effects. Uh, players unit at hack speed with 10, uh, put 10 boosts is increased by 10%. Um, this is the only, uh, efficient way other than, uh, there's a, um, an, an enchantment. Um, I want to say it's, I can't remember. Uh, there's a specific enchant, oh no, hang on. Uh, there's a specific enchantment, uh... No, how do you look at enchantments? Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, there's a specific enchantment called Counterspell. Uh, killing a boss or mini boss with a unit from the faction has a 20% chance of removing a negative effect from one unit and stunning one unit of the opponent for 20 seconds. Um, counterspell 2, and I want to say Counterspell 1. Uh, you have a 10% chance of removing a negative effect, or you have a 20% chance of removing a negative effect. Um, those are the, that and uh, so, Enchant Sword is the only way of getting rid of, um, is is the only generic way of getting rid of a negative, ne a negative effect. Um, and this deck, along with things like Demon Hunter, where you're just trying to build up your field, um, there's nothing in their talent kit that allows them to remove negative effects. So for example, Spirit Master, the reason why it's so good is storm power. Um, because when you get um, your, uh, you wanna use a mana power up of seven or higher, uh, you have a 50% chance of purging all negative effects from every Spirit Master. Because Engineer doesn't have that kind of mechanic, Portal Keeper is technically the only way that you can get rid of a negative effect early on, unless you have, uh, again, one of those two other things. Uh, if you have a counterspell on your um, on your equipment, or if you have a level 13 enchant sword. I don't have either. Um, and so basically what I'm trying to do whenever I play this um, is just, uh, I, I'm just trying to push through negative effects, essentially. I'm just trying to, I, I, the, it's the reason why it's not great. It, and it is great early on when everybody is building, you know, the legendary soup deck, right? Which isn't a deck that doesn't increase itself in damage, um, where your engineer will do more because it is increasing, it, 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 it is slowly increasing itself in damage. Um, I'm going to run the best, I, what I think is like the best version of this deck. Um, and it's going to be a scrapper. It's going to be a bunch of legendaries. Um, and then a portal keeper, because I think portal keeper makes everything better. Um, you know that, you know, like my equipment is amazing. I have a level 14 gadget and my, uh, uh, my crit chance is amazing. I'm going to play a, um, just a random level 13. And if you ever want to test a deck, uh, I'm going to make sure that I have my talents correct. Uh, defensive Matrix, Overtime, Optimization. Um, defensive Matrix is going to give me some amount of protection because you need any amount of protection that you can possibly get. Um, I am not going to go very far with this deck, but I trust that I'll go farther than the Zealot deck. I'm going to be the nice player and not uh, move that. But I swear, if he moves something, I have Portal Keeper and I'll move it back. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, I have Warlock as my first boss here. So I'm actually... Oh, look at that. It um, it actually took away the shield. Um, because when it, it was supposed to die because of the curse. But it instead uh, took away the shield. That's how good the shield is. Um, I'm going to leave all of my cards here because I can protect 
uh, this entire my entire field uh, with Portal Keeper. And I trust that we won't die. I don't know. I trust that I'll be able to take to take down this like first this first boss and this first wave. Because I don't want to uh, overcommit to my board right now, um, and and then get warlocked. Uh, so we have uh, two squares over here, and then we have a square right here. Um, I'm obviously going to build on all the squares. Um, I might as well just put this on here right now. Um, I'm probably going to build uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, hang on. One, two, three, four. I'm going to count this later. One second. Yeah, here we go. Go, portal keeper, go. There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You still need another one. You need so many engineers. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to save the uh, the swords uh, because it's going to just hit a bunch of uh, targets that I don't want it to hit. Uh, Shaman is a thing. Um... I'm going to save that. They're really not being nice to me. Uh, I'm going to upgrade here. Upgrade here. They're like, no, we're not going to give you... We're not going to give you any, any engineers. You're going to run this engineer deck without engineers. Nope. Go, Portal Keeper, go. Portal Keeper, so good. Uh, so I have another one on a square. I'm going to upgrade that one. Um, I'm actually going to use... Uh, you know what? I'm going to merge this. See what happens here. Um, I'm going to start merging out these swords. Um, I'm going to give that to a three here. Um, I'm going to move this over here. Uh, Dark Priest is obviously a problem for us. Uh, I'm going to merge this out. I'm going to merge this out. 15%? What am I doing? I'm going to upgrade this one. Um, I'm going to move this down uh, because eventually I want to be... Uh, I want to go to the, to, to the left over here. Um, because Dark Priest is coming up, I am going to try to mer... No, I'm not going to be able to. Maybe I am. No. Um, I wanted to uh, summon in so that it has a higher chance of not hitting something important. That's actually fine because I can do that. Um, and that is fine because none of that matters. Perfect. Um, and that's why you want... Uh, that's why you're going to want the uh, defensive matrix. It's it's literally just situ situations like that. Um, I need to get rid of some of these dryads so that I can keep summoning in. Uh, that's actually fine for us. Um... I'm going to merge in. Uh, I'm actually going to move this out and then merge away. I was going to say, and hopefully get um, get a hit there. Uh, I can move this down. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still need three more. Um, I obviously want uh, an engineer right there in that spot. Uh, so I'm going to merge these out. Um, I, I always merge uh, the, always get the uh, the squares first. Um, I can move that there. Uh, that's five, six, seven. I still need three more. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Like you need so many. Uh, I'm going to merge this out. I'm going to move this in and then merge this in. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to eat this. Um, I'm going to upgrade these ones on squares. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still need two more. I understand that these aren't uh, connected right here. Uh, I'm going to merge away. That works too. I'm trying to keep these swords as long as I can, obviously, because that's what's going to give us the uh, the damage that we're going to need. Um, I'm actually going to uh, get both of these. I'm going to upgrade this one. Oh, if we can't kill this. Oh, that was that was pretty important. Yeah, Zealot's not great. I keep trying to make Zealot work, and it's not great. <laughs> uh, I need to I need to move this away, obviously. Or if I get a oh no, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna eat that. Um, now if I if I um, summon in a okay no. Or not, whichever. I don't care. There's an argument to be made that you can run Harlequin, but I think this is the better version. Because I think you need the scrapper. Um, I'm going to upgrade here. Uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We still need one more. Good luck trying to get 13. This is why I, I would never suggest it. I can't even get 10. Like, 10 is hard. I Like, I cannot get... Like, I've tried doing 13. And 13 is more of like a, a monk's kind of situation. There it is. Um, so basically what I'm going to do here um, is I'm just going to sit here and wait for these guys uh, to upgrade all my monks. Or uh, upgrade all my monks. Upgrade all my engineers. Um, running the 13 version uh is something that if you're gonna play uh with a clan and you know that they're gonna shaman you um i would recommend the um the 13 version as opposed to optimization i think it's phalanx um and at that point you can just set up a bunch of harley or you you can harlequin and then um run portal keeper and harlequin and then move it to get rid of the debuff and then harlequin and summon in and dryad and you know like you can do all of that and then get 13 and then your uh what's called your uh co-op player can shaman you and then you're you're pretty much set um but if you want to play it by yourself uh i think this is the best version of this deck but again i don't think i would recommend this in pvp because it is just an epic card as opposed to a legendary and there's a reason why legendaries are legendaries they're just stronger they have better talents uh the talents are okay but like you've already seen if i get uh, well one i'm not dealing enough damage um at, this is a max version engineer with like the amount of crit damage that i have with the amount of the equipment that i have and my um What's it called? My uh, Blade Dancer is rocking like millions of damage, whereas this is doing at max at with, you know, with all of this, it is doing like in the hundred thousands of damage, which again, isn't bad if you're a new player. But once you start getting legendary cards, it becomes a detriment and you'll see the damage drop off. I technically feel like I shouldn't beat uh, the level 13 by myself. And so if I manage to do this, um, engineer is kind of okay. This is really the test. Like if you can beat level 13 without needing the help of your opponent, um, or your co-op player, uh, you're doing pretty well. I'm at 12% battery. Uh, so I am going to switch to my head, my headset so I can... Uh, uh, so I can continue, uh, filming here. 
And I'm going to hope that you can actually still hear me uh, through my headset. I'm going to hope that this is still recording. Okay. Um, because I need to charge my phone here. I probably should have done that sooner, but uh, here we are. I'm a professional YouTuber. Uh, so I didn't even realize that I got uh, Red Guide, probably. I'm assuming I got a Red Guide here. I'm going to need to do something. Uh, because I have this one, I'm actually going to eat this one. That seems pretty good. Um, I'm going to get rid of... Do I get rid of this now? I'm going to get rid of this now. Yeah, because I, I just need the space uh, in order to continue doing things. Because I need to be doing doing some things. Um, I could try to do one, two, threes. Uh, but if I... If I can't draw a dryad, I'm going to... Oh, here we go. Look at me go. It's like I'm a professional. It's almost as if, though, I'm a professional. Um, I'm going to do this and be super greedy. Oh, greed pays off. Greed pays off. Look at this. Look at Look at us go. This is the best engineer game I've ever played in my life. But you're going to see how, how much virus like screws this over. I don't think I will immediately die. Um, and I, like enough of my engineers have uh, shields on them. And then once like again, once it pops, um, I will get even more shields uh, once virus shows up. Um, but I mean, this is like my crit, my three thousand crit percentage. This is a max, um, in uh, a max engineer. This is like a, a level thirteen scrapper. So I'm getting double hits more than most people. Um, this is like an enchant sword that's awakened, so that I can have the one and have it just poop on everything. This is a level fourteen gadget. This is like the best, like a an engineer can possibly be, without like Zeus, I suppose. Um, and it, it's, it's okay. Oh, come on. You're making me want to eat that and I don't want to eat that. It's fine. It doesn't matter now. Is this just going to start eating through my shields? Yeah, it's just going to start eating through my shields. Maybe I should have eaten it. It's just going to eat through all my shields. That's a problem. This is a problem. It's not great. It's the next boss. Something unimportant. Hopefully something unimportant. Monkey King! Monkey King would uh, eat through shields anyway. Uh, Monkey King ignores shields. It even ignores uh, Inquisitor shield, which is crazy. We're still doing fine. Zealot guy is not doing great, as I predicted from the beginning of this game. Um, he just hit a five, which is fine. It's not the greatest, but it's fine. I have ten thousand mana that I could uh, that I could t definitely utilize, obviously. Um, There's a part of me that thinks this enchant sword is better, uh, like waiting for it to to strengthen my my board, in that way. Uh, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can't even uh, sacrifice anything, um, or else I would want to eat a two. But I actually need all of these spaces. Uh, I'm actually gonna start doing it. I I, I have no reason to. If, if they target um, this sword, I won't be able to save it, so I will start eating. Um, but, uh, but beyond that, I don't feel like I need to. Um, and I don't I feel I don't feel like I need to start scrappering um, because I'd rather just wait for this to power everything up. And and keeping it 
is uh, allowing the um, the Monkey King to have another target to hit. And I'd rather have it hit this than hit a um, an Engineer, obviously. Or hit this, or hit this, or hit this. I'd rather it hit anything else, all of these extra things that I have on the field, than hit an Engineer. So leaving the field as is is probably the, be the best move right here. And just like stockpiling mana. I'm doing a reasonable amount of damage. Like this is, what is this, a million damage? This is much more damage than I would have thought that Engineer would be doing. But again, that's also my crit percentage. And like my equipment. And gadget. And Enchant Sword. For the most part, uh, this deck is not going to survive once you start going into the late games of PvP. But it is really good early on. And I would highly recommend building, at the very least, this deck um, until you get a, a better Legendary. Uh, so that hit a um, Engineer, but it's fine. Um, again, I kind of just want to wait for this to get Red Guide. We just got double manned. I think I'm going to use it here. I'm going to start um, upgrading stuff here. Uh, that's actually really good for us too. Um, because that, that's just an extra space. And I can start actually doing this now. Um, I don't want to do that. Actually, you know what? I do want to do that. That's fine. Um, I don't need that. I don't need that. Or that. Uh, so this is another um, dilemma here. Um, I can obviously... I'm going to have to eat uh, this level 2. Nope. Oh. Unplug my phone here. Um, I'm going to have to eat this level 2 uh, so that I can keep going. Um... Because at this point now, um, it's better to... Uh, build up my field's levels than it is to passively uh, get the enchant sword buffs um, because a lot of them are at max now um, and that's a reasonable amount of damage and now I just need uh, for their speed to be better um, and the beautiful thing about th playing this deck um, is that once you get the 10 if you have a 1-2-3 um, every single hit that you make is a useful hit. Like, all of that is just... It's just building onto something. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> that's not what I wanted here. Um, I do need the two here. Uh, I'm gonna do this. That's not great. Not gonna lie. Um... I'm just going to eat it that way, eat that way, eat that way, eat that way, that, that, oh, that's pretty good. That's not great. Um, yeah, if this was like a level four dryad, that would have been pretty amazing. Um, I like that I got the sword again anyway. You just kind of get to a point with Engineer where you can't really do anything and you just have to uh, hope that when you when you hit bosses uh, that your bosses will upgrade your field for you. Because each of these Engineers now have a 35% chance to drop apart uh, when a boss enters. And if you do get to double bosses, obviously double bosses, you get both of those extras. That's actually really good for us. That's actually insanely good for us. That is also actually insanely good for us. My god. I don't think that could have been any better. <laughs> um, part of me wants to upgrade this to a 3 because if I do and it gets hit, um, I can do that. You know what? I'm going to do that. That sounds like a great idea. 
Um, if this gets hit, I can upgrade it. Nope. Not great. Uh, so I'm stuck here. Um, I can obviously uh, do that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. is this the best engineer game I will ever play in my entire life? I'm so glad you're here for this. I'm so glad you are here for this. If either of these get... Oh, okay, yeah. Then I'll, then I'll merge it. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho. Play Engineer. It's the greatest thing ever. Engineer is the best card in Rush Royale. What is this luck? What is this crazy, crazy luck? We got Assassin Warlock. Um, so I'm actually going to leave everything on the field right here. There's nothing really I, I can really do with damage, in, in terms of damage. Um, and having double swords uh, will get all of these up to 10 much quicker. Um, and I'd rather have more targets on the field um, in order for um, assassins and warlocks to hit those as opposed to hitting... Um, engineers um, and then all of these shields that they all currently have are going to help as well actually if anything I can um, hope to draw an engineer um, because if I have the if I can uh, get an engineer I can pro I can theoretically protect the last two that don't have it um, there we go like that uh, that engineer uh, shielded that one. Um, I can actually keep going. I could probably keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm just hoping to get an engineer here. Um, red guy. Red guy hits that guy. I'm going to do this. That's pretty good. I'm going to summon in. And then hopefully... Um, hopefully the assassin uh, summoning in will uh, protect everybody else. Or enough people. I can save all of this. You know, I honestly, when I started this, I didn't think that I would get to the end of, of 13. But this is the mark of, like, a good card. So maybe Engineer is better than I think it is. Or maybe I just got incredibly lucky. I, in either case, like, this is the best Engineer game I've ever seen. Shield. That's why, that's why you gotta run Shield, man. Wow. I really didn't think that this was gonna happen. This is crazy. I really did not think that I was gonna um, that I was gonna get like all of this. This is this is insane. Yeah, engineer man. <laughs> 